What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Bam Bam, and welcome back to the realm of pool. Pool Hustler Zinc, your very own. Uh, someone on Reddit asked me to. I'm using these buds. I hope this turns out all right, uh, volume wise, so I'm not too far away. We're gonna try it today. So someone on Reddit asked me. They said that they're they're just learning out you know, pool, and um, you know they pretty much. Pretty much like they're they're trying to learn during this like pandemic and we're all at home right now. I think that I can I, okay. So the basic thing, if you're learning to play pool, that I can go over, I can go over some things. Okay, here's my top advice: if you're just starting out playing pool, okay. Number one, take your time. It's not like the Moscone Cup where you have 30 seconds to shoot, a minute off the break, and a 30-second extension. One 30-second extension. Take your time. Line up. See the shot. You don't have to fire away until you feel confident. That's the, that's the number one thing that I would tell anyone. Because you see in bars and stuff when people, oh, it's your shot. And then people are like, oh, yeah, man, it's my shot. Oh, shit. I lucked that. <laughs> I fluked that. Oh, I made it! But that's like the that's like the main thing is like people get up there and they just think they have to shoot and they have to fire away at full speed. Take your time. You only need enough. It, the whole game is geometry and physics. So all you really need is enough for that ball to fall. For example, you just need to get that seven just just over there. That's all you need. You don't need to slam it. Um, the next thing I would have to say, I would go over is my aiming method, okay? I might have to take the camera with me on this one. But my, aim, my whole aiming method is, that makes it like really easy for me, and I'll talk about banks in a second. But my whole aiming method, all right? I'll do this right here so you can see it better. Let me position this. My whole aiming method is just this. It's literally, so if you were to make this eight ball in this pocket, right? What I'm aiming for is what I call the ghost ball. So say, say there's the cue ball, right? You're on a crazy angle, right? The ghost ball is where that ball needs to make contact for that ball to go that direction. And the line in the ghost ball, for me, is direct center point between the two balls. Direct center point. So where the bulk of the balls, you draw a line divided right in half. And that's that ball, no matter what English you use, will go that direction every single time. Uh, it gets a little more complicated for, for longer shots. but And it doesn't matter where you hit that ghost ball. That ball is going there every single time. Like, you could, it could be anywhere. And that, that's pretty much my entire aiming method. So you could be anywhere on the table, too. It works anywhere on the table. Where I'm aiming is always for that ghost ball. So there's a, there's a bulk line right there aiming directly at the pocket. So it doesn't matter, and I don't care about scratching here, but it doesn't matter where you hit on that ghost ball. But if that's the point that you're going to hit on that line going that direction, that ball is going to go that direction every time. So the ghost ball is the ball that's not there. And as I aim for that, if you hit where that ghost ball is supposed to be, it's always going to go that direction. No matter what spin you use, no matter what. Here, I'll give you an example when it comes to just kind of basic spin. Lose my chalk. And always chalk up. It increases friction. Always, always, always chalk up. Chalk up. So ghost ball right there, right? Bottom English.
Top English. That ball, that target ball is going to go that direction of the line every time. So that's my entire aiming method for just simple shots. Um, now as for banks, I love banks. Y'all know I fucking love banks. I love getting fancy with banks. I love banking. How I make so many banks, for me, sometimes I'll use the diamond system. I can get into that more later on. But I use a mirroring system. So for me, I have a very active imagination. I can imagine something that's not there just to give myself a distance. So with banks, if you imagined that there was another table right next to this one and you aimed for this pocket on that table, Okay, so that's where I would be aiming, is this pocket on that table. It's going to, the rebound is going to bring it this direction. So that's my aiming method for banks. I don't care about the scratch. But I mean, and it works, it works for reverse banks too. It was a little bit of a kind of straighter bank, but it works for reverse banks too. As long as you aim it on that pocket, you aim, you aim this ball to go that direction in that pocket and it's going to rebound and come right back here. Oh, that's my aiming method. So for y'all beginners out there, that's just a basic video. Somebody asked me to say, hey, I want to learn more about pool. Happy to do so. Any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them. If you want me to go further in depth and detail, uh, if you want to learn any of the trick shots that I've done, happy to elaborate. So please just let me know. It would help give a great big thumbs up. Turn that thumb blue for 10 years. Good luck. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces, y'all.